what's up everyone this is he who reacts and this is ant-man and the wasp quantum mania review let's get right down to it well first things first uh i would say that this movie isn't as bad as you know uh, after seeing the reviews i expected it to be like you know uh, the reviews are, are like oh, oh in this movie are horrible like are, are way too much worse but i don't feel like this this movie is, is that bad M maybe a little bit but definitely disappointing yeah uh some people could really tell from the trailer and the clips that you know what i didn't feel like this movie is going to be it and yeah uh for me i expected it to be better but it was disappointing that's the first my initial thoughts on the movie uh secondly uh it's the way they constructed the, the the you know the story uh it was supposed to be uh ant-man uh, pushing scotland to the limits you know uh forcing him to 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 obtain whatever that you know i'm trying to say this without you know any spoilers it was it was Kang the Conqueror trying to push Ant-Man to get him this thing that only Ant-Man can steal in order for him to escape the quantum realm. That was the plot. And I don't feel like Kang did much, you know, like in order to convince, you know, uh, Ant-Man to do it. Uh, obviously, in the trailer, they tell us about how much Scott has missed so much time, you know, for Casey Lang and which is... They don't really dive into it in the movie, like they don't mention it a lot, like maybe once or twice that Scott Lang has missed so much time uh, of his daughter. And one thing that I didn't like is that uh, they put so many characters aside in the background, you know, like uh, the Wasp, Evangeline Lilly's the Wasp was, you know, a side character like she was in the background she, she didn't have uh too much to say in the movie and the movie's title ant-man and the wasp contaminia but i don't feel like it should have been that it should have been ant-man uh and casey lang and you know janet van dyne uh, contaminia you know uh hank pym and uh and the wasp didn't have much to do in this movie and yeah the characters you know ant-man was ant-man still funny all that and yeah i don't have a problem with the characters except except for king i feel like king was disappointing for me like when the moment you say this is the next villain of uh of the avengers the next big you know villain that the avengers have to face and you introduce him in a movie like ant-man and somewhere somehow like he doesn't thrive in that movie like you know you kind of feel disappointed like what well, like, why do you need to call the avengers you know like just call just just call these people who you know he failed to win against at first to deal with him there's no need for the avengers to come in unite and defeat him yeah i feel like he was disappointing you know the fact that he is the big bad of this phase the multiversal phase yeah that was disappointing uh of ken modok uh, people cried about modok and uh, the design and everything i i didn't hate modok actually i i, I liked modok she uh, he was one of my favorite characters in the movie i enjoyed uh, every time when modok was on screen and yeah that's what i i, I have to say other characters are uh, I don't feel like there's more characters that I can dive uh, into and say a lot about them. Not really. And one thing that I want to talk about is the the performance of the cast was great. And Jonathan Major says uh, Ken was perfect. He played the character well. When I say like Ken is disappointing, I'm not saying Jonathan Majors didn't play the character well. In fact, he did. Uh, like he played the character very well, and you know. Uh, it's just that the character wasn't as threatening as I expected it, uh, it to be. And uh, Janet Van Dyne, Michelle Pfeiffer, I loved Michelle Pfeiffer. Every time she was on screen, 
as Janet, it was brilliant. I enjoyed uh, every minute of her. Uh, she was brilliant. Uh, my favorite uh, performance of the movie, second favorite, obviously, behind Ken. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is the visual, like uh, the quantum, the quantum realm, the way it was. I don't think like it was an experience that I enjoyed. Like usually when we see movies and these new places, like, you know, like we feel like, wow, we are in this great place. Uh, the visuals are amazing. Uh, I didn't feel that with the quantum realm. I'm like, Pff. this sucks. You know, like the, the, the quantum realm for me sucks. Man. Like it was not amazing at all. It, there was no amazing visuals about the quantum realm that I enjoyed. Yeah, like the quantum realm was just, uh, that was one of the worst part of the movie for me. Like, yeah, I didn't like the quantum realm at all. And the other thing that I want to talk about is the humor of the, of 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 the show. It did have some humor. Obviously, it's Ant Man movies. They've always been, you know, joking movies, stuff like that. Yeah, this humor. I I laughed uh, during the movie a couple of times. Not a lot, but yeah, a couple of times I did laugh. But I feel like that humor, at some point, it did take away, you know, the 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 whole feeling of, you know. The drama, the tension that is in the movie, like, yeah, I think that it was too much for the story that, you know, they were telling. I don't feel like that humor was meant, uh, was made for this kind of a story, like, yeah. And the mid-credit scene, there is mid-credit scene and the post-credit scene. The mid-credit scene, like, you know, if I can tell you, uh, what happens in the mid credit scene just me explaining it like you'll pro probably like lose your mind you go nuts and say what they really did that but you no know, seeing it maybe seeing it wasn't as fun as it's supposed to be like i was there and so like oh yeah they're doing this but you know i didn't get that excitement like yeah it was just yeah the mid credits they did this and you know like yeah i it's not really, I felt a little bit cringe, you know, watching the mid credit scene. But yeah, some people will love it. Some people will, yeah, not really. And the post credit scene, the post credit scene is the amazing thing in this show. Like, the, yeah, like I loved the post credit scene. I went wild, what is happening here? That's the, the reaction that I was having during the post credit scene. Yeah, I'm trying to keep this short. I don't want to say a lot about it. But if you are having doubts about watching the movie, yeah, maybe just don't. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe just don't. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't advise you not to, you know, not to watch it. Uh, I would want everyone to watch the movie. But yeah, if you're having doubts, uh, yeah, just don't. Just wait for it to become digital and see it. Uh, but for those who have uh, seen the movie, just let me know what you think in the comments without spoiling it for everyone. Uh, what, what did you think of the movie? Was it great? Was it bad? Uh, I like to hear what you, you have to say uh, about the movie in the comment section and also leave a like. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.